the house of mouse. Hickory Dickory Dock. He won't run up a clock. He's Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hey, thanks for the Thunderbolt, Zeus. No problem, my boy. Today we've spared no expense, for we've got the finest music, the biggest acts, and an epic two-part cartoon. Hold on there, Mickey. You're using three-dollar words. When penny phrases, it'll do just fine. Scrooge McDuck, what are you doing here? Well, I just love show business, so I bought a house of mouse. Oh, no! But you can't buy the place. Pete owns it. Everyone has their price. And my price is a big, fat bag of cash. See you around, mouse. <laughs> oh, boy, that means no more Pete. This is great. Hey! Oh, don't. Huh? You'll not be wasting my money on such frivolities. Frivolities? Like what? Like that coat you're wearing. It's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey's wearing his Monday undies on the wrong day. Hey, what's the big idea? This is going back to the rental house. It costs too much money. But money isn't everything. <gasps> Are you daft? Money's everything. But you gotta spend money to put on a great show. Not anymore. From now on, I want twice the show at half the cost. Well, folks, time to turn things over to the House of Mouse Band. What happened to Huey, Dewey, and Louie? Scrooge replaced him with this baby. Yeah, that's twice the entertainment, all right. Thanks for the clothes, Cinderella. Oh, that old thing? Electricity isn't free. Huh. Well, at least today's cartoon isn't cheap. The strange and magic dream you're now here told takes place in distant Greece in times of old. When greed and gold are what marriage is made of, how will these maidens each wed a true love? Happy be Ludwig, our most famous duke. Ooh, wow, what a nice intro for me. <laughs> All right, Scroogey Pants, what do you want? This maiden's father promised her and her vast wealth in marriage to my nephew, Donald. But she refuses to marry him. I don't love Donald. I love Mickey. Oh, gosh. Love? Bah! Minnie was promised to Donald. Unless he cancels it, it's a binding contract. What is the worst that may befall me if I refuse to wed Donald? The law of Athens is very clear. Either you agree to marry Donald, or you must be put to death. Oh. What? We don't got no laws like that. <laughs> That's just cookies for that is. <laughs> All right, where's my big book of Athenian law? Oh, let's see here. Marriage or death? Boy, talk about strict. But seeing that I am such a nice duke, I'm gonna give you till tomorrow to decide to tie the knot. After that... <laughs> Darn that Athenian law. Say, that's it. All we gotta do is leave Athens and we can get married. What do you say, Minnie? Will you elope with me? Elope? Oh, Mickey, I, I, oh, yes, of course I will. That's swell. Now, in the woods, a league outside the town, there will I wait for thee. Oh, Mickey, there truly will I meet with thee. And many are eloping! Oh, isn't that romantic? <sighs> I was thinking, maybe, well, just maybe, you and I could run away and get married too! <laughs> oh, Donald, you'll elope with me? I knew you 
love me all along. You just don't express it well. I got a friend with you. Hmm. That didn't go like I planned at all. And so the lovers from Athens took flight through the enchanted wood on Midsummer's Night. They dreamed their dreams of love would come true, but dreams and enchantment bring magic too. Sir, Puck reporting for duty. The course of love ne'er does run smooth, they say. So Oberon and Puck shall clear the way. Behold this flower. The juice of it, on sleeping eyelids laid, will make man or woman fall madly in love with the next live creature that it sees. Huh? Take thou this bloom and seek through this grove. A sweet Athenian lady is in love with a disdainful Donald. Anoint his eyes, but do it when the next thing he espies may be the lady. <laughs> Beg pardon? Squeeze the potion in his eye. No, oh, why don't you say so? Thou shalt know the youth by the Athenian clothing he has on. Huh? His clothes are made in Athens. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can count on me, boss. <laughs> Who put that tree there? <sighs> Interns. Mickey Mouse, we're lost. We can find our way out in the morning. Might as well get some sleep till then. <sighs> This must be that Athenian feller. Yup. <laughs> Made in Athens. Oh, Donald! Oops, here she comes. I better hide. Ow! <gasps> Mickey! Oh, if you live, awake! And run through fire for thy sweet sake. What? Who? Me? I'm yours, hot stuff! <laughs> no! Daisy, wait! <laughs> Nothing like a job well done. What a nightmare, Mickey! All right, what's the big idea? The big idea? I'm glad you asked. I call it Horace Land. No! What's the big idea showing this expensive cartoon? Now, hold on, Scrooge. That was just the first part of the cartoon. We still have another half to go. Then I'm going to have to tighten the purse strings to make up for it. He may be the richest duck in the world, but he's turning the house of mouse into the house of baby chicks. Huh? You know, cheap, cheap. Boy, even the writing's gotten cheap, cheap. Bonny appetite. Oh, uh, where's the food? Scrooge has a servant lighter menu now. This ain't fit for a mouse. I disagree. This'll be plenty. Hold on there, Mousy. You've got to share with the others. That's the family plate. Mickey, Scrooge is trying to save on seating by putting all the guests at one table. What? That's impossible. Wait! 
do I have to be on the bottom? Oh, Mickey, what are we going to do about Scrooge? I know who we can ask. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Looks like it's going to cost you. What is it that you wish to know? How can we stop Scrooge from being such a cheapskate? The answer you seek is... Please deposit more coins. Hold on, Donald. This gives me an idea. <laughs> Maybe we can beat Scrooge at his own game. You mean checkers? I've tried. He's unbeatable. No, 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 Goofy. What we're gonna do is out cheap Scrooge. Oh, Mickey, we'll make things so tight around here that even Scrooge won't like it. You'll have to pay for that. Hey, everybody. It's time for part two of today's cartoon. But due to recent cutbacks, we've gotten rid of our expensive big screen. Here, now, what is the meaning of this? Just trying to save money, Scrooge. From now on, we'll show the cartoons on this. <laughs> Mission accomplished, Mr. Oberon, King of the Fairies, sir. Really? <laughs> yup. Here come the lovebirds now. <laughs> Oh, oof! Huh? Thou hast laid the juice on the wrong Athenian's eyes. That's the Athenian I meant. Mommy! Mommy! Don't worry, boss. I'll make everything okie dokie. Donald! What are you doing here? Oh, Manny, please go, Manny Mickey. I love you. Chance. No! I love Donald. Well, he sure doesn't love you. Let's do it again. This is thy negligence. I'll set it right. Lest confusion reign till morning's light. When thou wakest, thou takest true delight in the sight of thy rightful lady's eye. Come away. <laughs> Gorge, why didn't you just do that in the first place? You want to know something, Scroogey? This was completely predictable. Marriage or death. Where to learn those parenting skills anyways? I would have run away, too. Here they are, asleep. Hey, you cookie kids, wake up! We've been looking all over the place for you. 
I had the most amazing dream. Well, Scoogey, old boy, looks like we're gonna have ourselves a wedding. A double wedding! I do. 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 Mickey? Mickey? <laughs> Wake up, Mickey. Picnic's over. Huh? What? Huh? Oh. Wow! I was having the scariest dream. We were gonna get married. Uh, uh, not that I wouldn't want to get married. It's just a... Uh, <laughs> boy, getting late, huh? <laughs> <laughs> if we shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended. That you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. And this weak and idle theme, no more yielding but... a dream? Ow! Hey! Who put that moon there? My goodness, that's a tiny TV. Here, drink this. Oh, that's much better. Thanks. So, you got rid of the big screen and decided to show everything on a wee little television. Yep, figured it'd save a few bucks. Groupie, you got those bills ready? Yep, bills for hot, cold, clean, fresh, smoggy, humid, and dry. What's all this? <laughs> We're gonna charge the guests for air. He cut the out. Yep, no more heat. If the guests get cold, we'll just rent them blankets. Don't think I don't see what you're doing. You thought you'd give me a taste of my own medicine, huh? Well, I love the taste of my own medicine, especially when it's free. Keep up the good work, my boy. You're saving me a mint. Oh, no. Uh, look, Scrooge, uh... you've given me a great idea. I'll save even more money if I fire today's act and I go on instead. Oh, boy. I knew that was coming. And now, a word from the new owner of the House of Mouse, Scrooge McDuck! <laughs> you folks are in for a rare treat. Something never before seen on this stage. Here it is. Me lucky dime. Hey, Cricky, you the expert on lucky around here. Does that nasty, worn-out bottle cap look lucky to you? <laughs> Me either. It's the first time I ever made. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? A true thing of beauty. You call this an act? Come on, Pumba. Let's go watch paint dry. But, Timon, that dime is so shiny. So's this spoon. Now, come on. Ooh, that's shiny, too shiny. Oh, wait. Don't go. Peter! That went well. The sight of cold, hard cash got them all running to the lobby to rent blankets. Uh, for those of you left... We're still here! <laughs> Here's a cartoon that maybe Scrooge ought to watch. Hello there! And welcome to Vaughn Drake's House of Genius. Now I bet you all is wondering, where did I got these fancy schmancy brand new duds from? I bought them with my fancy schmancy brand new money. <laughs> Introducing the Von Drake Money Increase Somatic Machine. It's gonna double or triple or even hundred rupee your money. Allow me to demonstrate, would you? First, we're gonna take this worthless penny and we're dropping it in this little cup here. Then, the sensor sensorizes the subclockian structure in the fiscal resources, replicating every dirt molecule trigonometrically, and... Now everybody's getting all the money they need. No one is going hungry, no one is committing the crimes, and best of all, you gonna be buying anything you want. For myself, I already bought this Alpha Proton X-ray spectrometer. And then I bought a little artwork. Ooh, handsome. And then I bought a two-pack of Angry Policemen's and... Hey, <laughs> Angry Policemen's! Professor Von Drake, you're under arrest for counterfeiting. I was just making money. No, what am I saying? Oh, boy! See you next time!
Everybody left? Ugh, there go my profits. I hate show business. Pete's Retirement Paradise, Pete speaking. Hey, what the... The house of mouse is all yours. Oh, confound it! Wow, what a businessman. Okay, take us out of here, Mike. Mike? Oh. Financial services for the house of mouse provided by Prince John Savings and Loan. Your fortune gets the royal treatment with Prince John. Our conveniently located branches make paying your taxes a breeze. Yes, you'll sleep easy knowing your money is safe with Prince John. Due to Robin Hood, Prince John Savings Alone is out of business. <laughs> That's all for today. We'll save the best for 